Hey there, I'm Eliza with Ancestral Evolution, and today we're making Hassenpfeffer. So, what is Hassenpfeffer? You might be asking yourself, especially if you're not up on your Bugs Bunny. Hassenpfeffer? What's Hassenpfeffer? Hassenpfeffer is actually a German stew made with rabbit. Hasse meaning hare and pfeffer meaning peppered, so it's literally a peppered hare. Most traditional Hassenpfeffer recipes have flour in them. Today we're going to be making a carnivore-ish recipe that does not have flour, so we're going to try it out and see how it goes. So this beautiful rabbit was from a friend of ours who raises rabbits in the area, and I helped process some of them. The first thing we're going to do for Hassenpfeffer is we're going to parts our rabbit up, we're going to make a marinade for it and just let it soak in that marinade for about 24 to 48 hours. All right, so our rabbit is parts. We got the back legs, the fore legs, rib cage area, and then kind of the loin and I'm just gonna throw the pelvis in there. You don't, there's not a whole lot of meat on the pelvis, but for the purposes of our stew, I'm gonna stick it in there also. So I'm gonna stick all this in a big bowl. Then I'm gonna slice up an onion and just stick that in with it. Next, I'm going to add two cups of apple cider vinegar. And I'm also gonna add some red cooking wine just gonna add this whole bottle here. I'm gonna put in some peppercorns, just whole peppercorns, like a small handful, and just a couple cloves. Not too many. There we go. Now if I was not using cooking wine, I would be adding salt also, but this cooking wine already has salt in it, so we're just gonna let it be just kind of get things percolating here. So I'm just gonna cover this and stick it in the fridge for about 24 hours and we're gonna come back tomorrow and cook it. All right, so it's time to assemble our stew here. Pardon my growth, I do have a baby on me. Everyone's happier that way. So what I'm gonna do first is I've got some bacon that has pepper on it. So I thought that might go with the hot and pepper theme here. Um, and I'm gonna saute that up and add some garlic and then we're gonna add the rabbit. So let's get going. Then I'm gonna just add the rest of the marinade liquid and the onions and things to our pot here and bring this to a boil. Then I'm just gonna turn it down and simmer it until it's tender, which will probably be about two hours. For those who are wondering, this is an awesome thing. It's an induction cooktop and it works with magnets underneath and works with any cast iron, but it gives you an extra burner essentially that you can transport around wherever you want. So, and it heats things up super quick too. All right, so this has been cooking for about an hour and 45 minutes. I think it's done because the um, rabbit looks pretty tender, but let's take a look. I know you can't smell through the camera, but this stuff smells amazing. Let's see. It's kind of cooked down a little bit here. And this rabbit looks super tender. So we're going to get some out and give it a try. And you can see how tender this is. It's just falling apart, really. All right, let's give this a try. Like I said, this is super tender. That is really good. Definitely, definitely very sour. The tang of the vinegar really comes through and the wine also. If I didn't know this was hoss and pfeffer, I'd swear it was carrots. I think this would be really good with like some sour cream or something like that if you eat dairy or like some Greek yogurt or something on top. 
For those of you who haven't had rabbit before, first of all, you should try it. Second of all, it tastes pretty much like chicken. This is what I would expect like a chicken stew, basically, to taste like. Give it a try and see what you think. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out our classes on Skillshare if you haven't before. All right, we'll see you next time.